going on everybody in backyard land it's your boy mr b from Bar backyard barbecue um hope y'all enjoying this crazy weather if you're down in the, uh, the florida georgia alabama area um i'm gonna show you what the weather looking like right now give you a note real quick man i know i was amped up about the back the uh the barbecue competition however due to hurricane um i think iva or whatever it's called uh, coming through here and uh, uh, shutting down all the cities on the uh, both sides of Florida, um, it was postponed. We don't have a date yet, so uh, be on the lookout for that. And I'll send another uh, updated video whenever I find out. I just go ahead and shoot a video and let y'all know. So, no, I'm not uploading on Sundays, but as soon as I find out, I just go ahead and upload it and, and, and just so you have an update if you happen to care a little bit. Come here, let me show you all my little buddies, man. Hurricane supposed to come through and hit today. Uh, come on, uh, come on, say hey to the camera. Come on, come on, Titan. Come on, come on, come on. Oh man, they hiding out right now. And we had to give them a bath, man. Get all them fleas off of them. And uh, currently, right now, either they hang out on the patio on the garage, um, cause they scared of this water, and I don't want them out there in this weather anyway. Not why it's coming like this. Come here, Snow. Yeah. So come on. Lift you up. Come here. Say hey to everybody. Look right here. Look. Say hey to everybody. Tell them you nice and dry. Look. I ain't lick don't lick me. No. Anyway, get down. You too heavy. Come here, Snow. Come here, Snow. Anyway, try to show you my other little buddy. Uh she kinda old now. She done had three litters. Come here, Snow. Come here, Snow. Come here. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. Come here, Snow. Oh, uh, yeah. She ain't trying to hear that. She being lazy. Uh, anyway. And the other dog be jealous. See, he done knocked my dog on a little thing. I'm gonna move it over a little bit. So, uh, yeah. Did a cook in the rain. That's right, we crazy around here. Sweet 16 birthday. Show you what the Shirley Fab can do. Uh, sorry, I wasn't able to uh, show you what I had in the cooker, but you see the rain and just how much we dedicated to our craft and couldn't let her down, man. 16th birthday, had to get it done. It was on a Saturday, in the rain. There was no letting this kid down. So, my boy Tim, Timmy V, appreciate your uh, uh, your support. Hey, we got it done, man. Rain don't stop nothing, man. The Shirley Fab, like I said. That smoker right there, if you're curious about what it does, here's why you get an insulated firebox. Um, we're going to roll it to the video, and we'll be back, man, just to talk for a little bit. Hope y'all enjoy. All right, y'all. If y'all want to see what uh what the calm before the storm look like, the sun's kind of gone down. It's kind of cloudy. I know I said I would give y'all a view. Uh, it's raining like crazy. I'm going to go in the back, man. Um and talk a little bit with you guys and then send you on your way but this is what it looked like y'all uh hold on Let's see if i can get my little doggy over here say what's up snow got away tight no jealous jealous ass say look in the camera snow say hey say hey can you say shirley fab come on uh maybe sit down sit sit oh you sit down there you go anyway i'll be back in a minute y'all oh, yeah all right wait go, go now no i can always edit yeah what's up y'all this your boy mr beef and backyard barbecue one of them days y'all <laughs> the weather ain't favorable today anyway i would love to show y'all what i got going on right now but here's the reason why you get quarter inch steel on your grill and you get an insulated firebox, right? When the, uh, the temperatures and stuff or the environment is not friendly, you can still handle your business and do what you need to do. I got a case of chicken on here right now. I got pulled pork in, in, in there. I got baked beans in there going. You got the corn and in there? And corn in there on top of that. And it ain't stopping nothing. And you can see the temp, man, I'm still rocking at 275. Let me wipe that off for you. 275 over here on that one. Let me wipe that one off for you. Just a little water on me. I should have brought my tent, my 10 by 10. 
or whatnot. But I ain't stopping nothing. Uh, we still gonna handle business. We still gonna get this done for this sweet 16th birthday. Um, yeah. So you wonder why you pay the extra money for this type of type of quality grill? Um, you get what you pay for. You know, if it's sunny out and you're in, in, in the state of Florida, somewhere inside where it's warm, it don't really matter. You know what I mean? You don't really need an insulated firebox. But it's times like this, when the winter comes, that you definitely need something that's gonna hold that temp while you in the house chilling and enjoying the, uh, the, uh, the warmth of your house. So anyway, um, I'm gonna jump back in the truck because it's raining. <laughs> And hopefully it stops, tax up a little bit, and we'll be back. If not, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share the videos, and holler at your boy, man, in this rain. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, yeah. Hurricane coming through. Uh, try my best to give y'all a little view of the backyard. The grass ain't too bad. Actually killed a snake yesterday. Actually, I'm going to poach a picture. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to post a little quick, quick little two-second video. You see the snake. Comment below and tell me if you know what kind of snake it was. I was trying to clean out a, um, a little trough for the rain. To, uh, I don't know if you can see right here how the rain just sit there. Because we sit out here with uh, our yards are uh, pretty much predominantly clay. Uh, everything seems to be holding up so far. Pool table covered up. Got my grills ready to rock and roll. Propane on deck. If you wonder why I'm doing it like this, I got a new toy. And I don't want y'all to see it. Right? I got a video coming. So just stand by. But, I don't know if you can see it. Don't want you to see it yet. But, I got a new toy that I'm going to show y'all in the future. So stand by for that. Maybe next week or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to avoid my toy. And we're going to come over here and put this here. And we're going to talk for a quick second and see you on your way. Uh... Hey, we got folks jamming out here playing their music. Life great. Uh, if you don't think the weather is crazy, I don't want to show you, but my, my neighbor fence leaning down right now because it, it's trees almost falling over into my yard, but that's on the other side of my fence, so I'm, I'm okay with that. It's on the water side. So anyway, back to what we was talking about, yeah. So you see how the Shirley Fab gets down, right? In the rain, that don't stop nothing. You call us, we ready. I ain't going to say 24-7. But we cook 24-7, if you know what I mean. Um, we're having a blast, get prepared for this uh, this uh, hurricane, which is kind of going to the west, western side of uh, uh, Florida. Uh, we prepared, we bunk it down. I went and bought a generator. I paid $600 for a generator. Actually, with the extended warranty, I think it was three year warranty, it was like mm, 700 something dollars. But I left it in the box. It was the only generator I could find in the entire city. Um, I don't like Ryobi, um, not for generators. If I'm gonna get one, which I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take it back, it's still in the box wrapped up. Now if I have to use it, then I'm just gonna keep it. But uh, I'm gonna keep it in the box, it's just for an emergency. You would think somebody like me to barbecue all the time would have one, but that's a tool that I now know I need out of necessity, so I'm gonna definitely get me one. But that's not the one I want. I saw one at Home Depot I want, so I'm just gonna take that one back if I don't use it and uh, get the one I want. But anyway, we prepared, we ready to rock and roll. I got tons of food. Oh, I bought 41 slabs of ribs. So, I mean, we, we got meat on deck. We, we, we got food. Um, the neighborhood gonna be well taken care of. The power go out for longer than six hours. We get busy right here and everybody coming over and we gonna clean out the garage. Of course the grill will be out. I got chairs in there, I got TV in there. We can watch the game. And everybody gonna get their grub on today, y'all. Today and tomorrow, Monday Night Football. So I clean out my freezers and I have to claim it later. Um, get my electricity people up or something, or the insurance company or something. But uh, that's not my plan. But like I said, if food gonna go bad, you might as well cook and take care of your neighbors, man. Because they're the ones that look out for you when you ain't around. So um, hope you enjoy it. Like I said, the Shirley Fab. If you go get your Shirley Fab, man, I highly recommend you get the, uh, the isolated firebox. For the simple, simple being, the tank itself, when I call it a tank, it's built like a tank, but the smoke itself is gonna handle that water. It don't matter what you put on it, that heat gonna stay there. But the reason why you get an insulated firebox is because when it's raining, and if you ever seen a standard firebox, you spray water on it, all of a sudden you see the fire, I mean the water dissipate. You know what I mean? It's making noise and stuff like that. So, 
when you got that insulated firebox, yo, it's gonna stay the same temperature. I don't care if you got a water hose and you just running it and putting it directly on the firebox. It's still gonna keep that same temp because it has a layer of a cushion inside of it. Or I think it's some heat resistant wool or something. And then you got another firebox on the inside of that, which is sealed up. So it doesn't matter how much water you douse on the outside of that firebox. I know if you've seen me in previous videos, I put my hand on it while it's cooking. You can't just leave it there for a long time, but I keep my hand on it. You don't have to worry about it. if you stumble and, and, and try to catch yourself, put your hand on it where you, you burn yourself and got scars, none of that. So the product is well made. I salute them brothers out there. Hey, Shirley Fam, Tyler, get back at me, man. I'm trying to contact y'all, man. I need something done to my smoker, man. I can't get y'all on email or phone. Left messages, but anyway, that's another story. I'll tell y'all how that go if they don't ever call me back, y'all. I might stop talking about them. But anyway, this is your boy, Mr. B. Backyard Barbecue. Hope you enjoyed the video, man. Like I said, rain, sleet, and snow. Surely fab get down. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos. I'll let you boy. Hey, and for those of y'all in, in the way of the storm, stay dry. Holla.